Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin. In today's two minute pills, I would like to show you the echoes function in Ascent, Avant or Modern Mallets, which is really cool to create interesting musical effects. If you go to the echoes page, you find those three sections. And let's start with the first one. Obviously, you have to switch the echoes on. This very first thing decides if the first echo is on the exact same note and you played it or a fifth above or an octave above or even quite interesting intervals. With the cascade button you can then switch on a function which every echo goes up an octave. The transpose button transposes the very first echo and the echoes slider here decides how many echoes there should be. In the middle you find this tiny little keyboard where you can switch off notes if you don't want to have them in your echoes. The amount here is the velocity of the echoes. With the decay slider you can decide if the repeating notes should have the same velocity than the notes you played or if they should decay over time. You do have the rate of the echo, which even this is time synced, and you do have a pre delay if the first echo comes right away or if the first echo comes after the time that you decide here. And here you do have another nice function which is the replicate or the generate. We have been on replicate, so it just replicated the notes that I'm playing. If you go on generate, then the engine tries to generate notes that fit to the chords that you played. And here you see you have a new slider then which is called complexity where you can choose a little bit like the humanize function in quantize how complex those variations might be. That's it for today. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video, live stream or two minute pill.